What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, we will be checking out Auto Plugin 2. That is right, a second version of Auto Plugin has been created for the PS Vita and PS TV. Now, this second version of Auto Plugin um, it doesn't really seem to have many new features, so I'm kind of curious to see why they actually made it. Now so far I haven't installed Auto Plugin 2, um, but I will be installing it in this video. And if you guys would like to get Auto Plugin 2 and check it out, you can follow along with me. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up Vita Shell. To get Auto Plugin 2, you have to get a whole new VPK file. So we're just going to open up Vita Shell, and then all you want to do is just press select. We are going to connect our PS Vita to our PC. You can connect it via USB or FTP. I use USB because it's much faster and more convenient. So let's go and connect it, and then I will show you guys what we can do. So over on my computer, the link to Auto Plugin 2 will be in the description of the video if you guys wish to get it. And um, the first thing I'm noticing is this is uploaded by One Lua. One Lua is actually a very good PS Vita homebrew app developer. He's made many decent PS Vita homebrew applications. Now the original Auto Plugin is actually made by someone else. The other guy is called the Hero Gak or um, GAC, whatever he uses, I'm not sure. Um, but as you can see, um, this one is made by a different guy. Now, uh, this guy didn't steal it or anything like that. It is actually a collaboration between two developers, which is pretty cool to see. Now, the other thing is, I'm not really noticing much differences between Auto Plugin 2 and the original Auto Plugin. As you can see, even the layout they've got here is exactly the same. Um, there are supposed to be some more features coming for Auto Plugin 2. That's probably the reason why they decided to release it. Even this section down here is the same on Auto Plugin 1. Now if you guys want to get it, scroll up and you want to go to the releases and this is the first version, version 1, released 5 days ago. Now apparently these are all of the new features. I don't know if some of these exist on Auto Plugin 1 already. They probably do, so let's go and read it. So you can update plugins online. Um, I think you could do that on Auto Plugin 1. Update languages online. Now you can check the README file online for the most of the included plugins, download, install, ITLS, Enso, and Battery Fixer. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you couldn't do that on the original. Uh, set a custom image, set a custom warning message, set level transparent. I'm pretty sure I tried to do this before and it didn't actually work. But what we can do is grab the VPK and we can have a look at the app, we can have a look at the new theme and stuff like that because I know they have put a bit of work into the theme of it and made it look a bit nicer. So let's just click on Auto Plugin 2. Let's wait for it to download. So here it is, Auto Plugin 2. Let's drag and drop this on our PS Vita. You can just drop it on the root and then you can go install it. And also if you're using FTP connection, just drag it and drop it as well. Um, so this also works on the PS TV, but let's go onto our PS Vita, let's install it and let's see if there are any differences. Okay, so back on the PS Vita, we're going to go onto the UXO and we are going to find the Auto Plugin 2 VPK file. So let's press X twice on this and then what we can do is install it and check it out. As I said, I don't know like what this includes. I'm not sure if it's got many new features or I think it might be one of those apps which has new features added in the future. Keep in mind that they could have completely abandoned the original auto plugin. The last auto plugin had an update maybe six days ago now. Um, so maybe they're using auto plugin 2 from now on. Who knows? I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Um, I guess if auto plugin 1 doesn't get any more updates, then that's clearly why they made auto plugin 2. But let's just wait for this to install and then we can go and check it out. Okay, so it's now finished. Let's close Vita Shell and let's go and find it. So it looks like they've changed the logo. It's now got several jigsaw pieces connected together. And we've also got quite a nice background. And there you go, made by the Hero Gak and Team One Lua. This was created in 2020 and this is Auto Plugin 2 version 1. Let's go and start it up and let's see the new features. Okay, so straight away, this opening screen is exactly the same, but we do have a Vita themed background. So we've got plugins for Vita, that hasn't changed. Plugins for Adrenaline, that's the same as well. We've got extras. Um, Okay, so we've got install battery fixer and install ITLS Enso. I'm pretty sure these are new uh, and is set transparent. I think everything else is the same. We've got settings, which appears to be the same, but we do have auto updates in here. We've got exit, which should close it down. If we go in plugins for Vita, we've got install plugins. Um, pretty much looks the same, maybe slightly different like UI, but apart from that, not really much different. Um, we have got uninstall plugins which seems to be the same. 
Does it let us swap? Okay, so uninstall plugins isn't working, so maybe they will fix that. Hopefully they do. They've got the SD to Vita settings. These are the same. Uh, they've got check for plugin updates. Now, this is actually telling me I've got one new update. If I open up the old auto plugin, it doesn't say anything. So what is it saying I've got to update? It must be one of my old plugins that I haven't used in quite a while. Maybe it works. I don't know. Updated plugin. What's this one? Save state plugin? I didn't even remember installing this, but I guess we can update it. Um, so if we click on it, does it let us update it? So I guess it updated it already and we just press start to exit and it updated it I guess. Well that was simple. So there you go. Not exactly the longest video in the world but that is auto plugin 2. Um, now I know a few people are going to say what is the point of getting auto plugin 2 because it's exactly the same and uninstall plugins doesn't even work. Well I'd say the auto plugin 2 could be the new version um, so you might want to get it. Um, well, I guess you can wait until they update it even more, um, but it's entirely up to you. Auto plugin one still works, so you don't really have to worry. If you want to get it because it's going to get future updates, then you can also go ahead and do that. So that is pretty much it for this video. Auto plugin two, uh, not exactly like the best update. I mean, not much has changed, but hopefully we could expect to see some more in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.